Brethren, Nguaga Chuku. Brethren, good morning, sir. I am the spokesperson of Beatrice Mbwa, Ududu family. You made a statement that looks like, I don't know where you got that insinuation from, as if the Beatrice Mbwa Ududu family is um, struggling something with Jehoshaphat, Ambassador Jehoshaphat, or we are struggling something with money, or the said money you are talking about. I want to put it on record, both to you and to everybody who is listening to me. Today is the second day of July 2024. To the best of my knowledge, I establish again, to the best of my knowledge, there is no living human being of Beatrice Umbua Odudu family or dead that is struggling with anybody on any issue of the said money. You have never seen any member of my family in any meeting where discussion is done on this money. You have never seen us in Abuja you have never seen us with any meeting of any group, whether in the spirit or in the physical, where we are talking about this money. Neither have we come out to struggle with anybody on anything that has to do with this said money. We are just listening to the rantings in social media. And I am assembling all my facts and information based on what you people have been saying in the social media. So, and that is why most of the times when we are responding from the pl family platform, we respond based on what you call our attention to. So why I decided to put that on record is that I want you to correct the impression in your heart and in the heart of a lot of people who are thinking in the same line like you, that Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family is not for today struggling anything that has to do with the said grant of whether it is UAS, whether it is UAAG, or whatever name and inscription that is tied to it. There is nobody alive or dead of that family that is struggling with anybody, including Ambassador Joseph, we are not struggling with anything that has to do with money. So please, we. Good morning, um, fellow Nigerians. Good morning to Reverend Ngwaga Chuku. Reverend, good morning, sir. Yeah, I am John Inkwe Moses Augustine Apie Uwa. I am the spokesperson of Beatrice Mbwa Ududu family. The reason why I gave you my full six names is to discover that three are English and three are proper indigenous name of um, an alum person of Boki local government in Crossover State. Sir, um, I listened to your voice note and um, I took time to listen to it for over seven times. And um, you must have known that when you call my name or my family, you will have a response. Uh, we don't look for who is not looking for us. And um, you can't see us joining issues and um, ranting in the social media without a cause. There is an adage that says when you see a rabbit in the daytime, it is either something is chasing the rabbit or the rabbit is chasing something. So you have called um, 
my family's attention and I'm here to respond to the things I feel you should get it straight. Sir, once again, I want to acknowledge that in my person as a minister of the gospel of Christ and with the number of years I have put in an active service to God's work, I am very careful when somebody quotes thus says the Lord. You see, why I'm not in the position to judge what you said that God is saying is because it is not in my right to tell the creator of the whole universe who to speak to and what is the qualification of the person he can speak to. God, in time past, has spoken through donkey in the Old Testament. And I have um, experiences twice that establish my position that God can use anybody and can speak through anybody. Three days when I got saved in 19, after I got saved in 1996, if you are used to Ecom, there is a, my office where I was working at that time is closer to the Ecom National Park. Uh, Ecom General Park. So I took a walk from my office. That is three days after I got born again. I took a walk from my office going to a place they call Border Road. There is a junction that is called Border Road Junction. Everybody who is conversant with Ecom knows that particular place. When I got to that junction, a madman called me by my name and told me the madman was always staying in that place the madman told me openly there you are a pastor at that time i just got born again three days uh, after i met the person who preached to me a madman told me i am a pastor i laughed and walked away but what am i doing today I am now doing the same thing that madman told me. This is what I have been doing for 27 years now. Then number two, I also have another experience. And um, when I was on a missionary assignment in Umuhu in Okwato in Abombise of Imo State, 1999. I was in the house of my master that I was serving as a missionary in his village. Now, situations became very difficult for me. You know, it was just three years I got born again and I left my father and my mother and I followed him to his village for a missionary work. And I have been there for more than one year and six months. Then at the end of 1999, I felt that things were difficult and, uh, and I have a father who does not play with his children and I have uh, uh, my relatives who have uh, always looked at giving us support if there is any. And I have my mother and I have my elder brother and sister. So I now felt that why am I going to be suffering here? Let me go back home to meet my parents. Remember, I was on a missionary trip and I came out, carried my bag, came to a particular market that they call Afomuumuhu, Afomuumuhu, that is the market of Umuhu people. So I came to that market to pick a bike that will take me to the road where I will take a motor to Haba so that I can go back to Cross River State. As I was about climbing the back, the bike, a mad woman dragged my cloth. What I'm telling you is a story that some people who are close to me at that time in NBC were aware of it. The woman dragged my cloth and told me, where are you going to? Go back 
to where God sent you an assignment. Reverend, I immediately came down from the bike, went back to Umunaga in Umuhu, in Okwato, in a Bombise of Imo State. And I continued my missionary job. Now, these two experiences to my personal life is a message to me that God can speak through anybody because He spoke to me at two sensitive points on my life through a madman and a madwoman. All right, Reverend, it is on this basis I will not have anything to say with your revelation or your dream. I want you to permit me to observe my reservation, whether I want to agree with what you said or I don't want to agree with it. Permit me, please, for the sake of my conscience and uh, the sake of my trust in the God I served. I will not dictate for him, neither am I having power to challenge him. Permit me to say I am reserved on my opinion on whatever dream you had. I am not saying God did not speak to you. I am also not saying God spoke to you. Leave me at a neutral position. I have my reason and God understands my reason. That is on the wayside. But I want to re respond relatively to some of the statements you made that are calling our attention. Issue number one, uh, you have you made a statement that looks like, I don't know where you got that insinuation from, as if the Beatrice Umbo Dudu family is um, struggling something with Jehoshaphat, Ambassador Jehoshaphat, or we are struggling something with money, or they said the money you are talking about. I want to put it on record, both to you and to everybody who is listening to me today, is the second day of July 2024. To the best of my knowledge, I establish again, to the best of my knowledge, there is no living human being of Beatrice Umbua Odudu family or dead that is struggling with anybody on any issue of the said money. You have never seen any member of my family in any meeting where discussion is done on this money. You have never seen us in Abuja. You have never seen us with any meeting of any group, whether in the spirit or in the physical, where we are talking about this money. Neither have we come out to struggle with anybody on anything that has to do with this said money. We are just listening to the rantings in social media and I am assembling all my facts and information based on what you people have been saying in the social media. So, and that is why most of the times when we are responding from the family platform, we respond based on what you call our attention to. So why I decided to put that on record is that I want you to correct the impression in your heart and in the heart of a lot of people who are thinking in the same line like you, that Beatrice Umbwa Odudu family is not for today struggling anything that has to do with the said grant of whether it is UAS, whether it is UAAG, or whatever name and inscription that is tied to it, there is nobody alive or dead of that family 
that is struggling with anybody, including Ambassador Joseph Hart. We are not struggling with anything that has to do with money. So please, we correct your impression on us, about us. We are not killing ourselves for any money. If we want to talk about people who are killing themselves for anything about this money, we are going to mention you. I want to repeat again. If we are going to talk about people who are killing themselves on the issue of this money, we will not count the list without mentioning you. Because there are voice notes from October, November, December of 2022 that I might call study of statements that came out of your mouth. There are voice notes that are recorded information that proves that you people are battling with issues. And uh, you know that to tell you that we are not uh, serving the God of Mammon as some people have um, attributed it to. Now, a lot of activities that is tied to Beatrice Umbo Odudu, you can't see Beatrice Umbo Odudu family members. I mean, family members from the Olom, Boki extraction, that you are going to see struggling anything with anybody. You can't see any of us. You see, we have a reservation. And I want to emphasize again, my family has a reservation. And we want to leave that reservation to ourselves until when there is time to voice out our reservation. Now, you discover that why we are worried now, and I felt that uh, there is need to make one or two statements. Sir, Reverend, Nigerians are suffering. The hardship is becoming difficult. People are finding it difficult to eat. People don't have job. And I will still appeal on behalf of the Beatrice Umbua Odudu family. If any of the actors has or is in possession of any money, please divide it to Nigerians. Nigerians are suffering. I want to repeat again. Nigerians are suffering. If anybody is having any hand laid on any money, divided to Nigerians. I will drop that there. You know why some of you uh, may not be feeling the sufferings that those of us are suffering who are Nigerians is because some of you have made a lot of money on this project. Millions. A lot of millions. A lot of you have people donating to you as your friends and in the court of the donation you have uh, been eating well and then some people also have um, sold clusters and uh, sold bundles and have been eating well and you have a lot of money at your custody uh, some of the monies you have some of you wants to go to court to spend the money some of you are using the money to shout at some of us who are very poor and wretched and you scream at us and take us to police and make things difficult for us we are not worried and then some of you also like our one of our brother is uh, asking people to liaise with him uh, to partner with him so that uh, he can distribute his uh, money for his project and so on we are not worried and then um, you know, we, you are not the one feeling the heat. It is we, the common Nigerians, which Beatrice Umbo Odudu family fall under, that are feeling the heat of this abracadabra gymnastic and uh, uh, movie. And that is why, if you check, I have not spoken anything throughout this year. This is the seventh month of the year. And I don't see any reason to have made any statement. I am just watching, just as my family is watching. So, sir, I want to establish this, that you correct that impression. We are not struggling anymore. If we are going to contend with anything called money, we have not done that yet. 
So I don't know whether you are also seeing prophecies that uh, we are going to look at that in the future. Well, if you have seen it, there is no problem. But for now, from yesterday to today, there is no movement the Beatrice Umbo Odudu family has made that is contending with anybody on anything monetary. So that is why when you people use that comment, we just laughed and um, feel that uh, whoever is telling you that lies should continue to tell you the lies. Because some people enjoy when they are told lies. Now, I have responded to that. Please, we are not contending any money. And I have told you my formalist position. If you have any money to give Nigerians, whether it is palliative, it is grand, it is loan, or anything, give them. Nigerians are suffering. Give them and let them. The only issue is that if you have anything to do with Beatrice Umbua or Dudu family, Oga, if you no come discuss with us, you are going to wait in that junction all through your life. I want to repeat. If you have anything that has to do with Beatrice Umbua or Dudu family, Oga, I want to repeat again. If you check my voice note all through 2023, I am repeating the same statement. If you have anything to do with Beatrice Umbua or Dudu and his fa our family, Oga, if you not talk with us, you go wait for that junction, the trumpet go sound. If you are doubting what I'm saying, watch out and be seen. If you have what to do, I come again with Beatrice Umbua Odudu. Come and talk with Beatrice Umbua Odudu family. All this hide and seek game, acrobatic and gymnastic, they need a work. There are some things that doesn't work. We have just followed a path that I have been saying that we are in the path of truth. We are not fighting anybody. We are not uh, having any problem with anybody. We are just for the truth. We want to know the truth. And that is the truth we are following. And that is where we are. And that is where we are going to remain. Now you talked of uh, taking um, Ambassador Joseph to court. Um, if you watch through the genesis of um, my voice note as the spokesperson of Beatrice Mbouadudu family, I have sued for peace. From the first voice note on the 27th of uh, April 2023, if you go back to listen to that voice note and you have a clean conscience, you will discover that I said Ambassador Jehoshaphat was to come and meet us through my invitation. I invited him. The reason is that there are some things that when he comes, I will discuss with him. The family will discuss with him. If we have had that discussion, all this jumping up and down would have not been there. That discussion was not held until we came out to say, eh eh, okay, no be so then they do things. So. You don't take people for ride and feel that there is nobody in that family and then you trample on everybody and feel that everybody, that family has a lot of very responsible people. And if there is no responsible person in that family, at least I'm talking to you and I look responsible. You don't need to tell me whether I'm responsible or not. I, I look responsible. My speech is a representation of my person. So, and if I don't look responsible, I wouldn't have been telling you, say, come out from social media. Let us sit down and discuss. And you know, what is the need of sending people? How many people have sent other people to their family? Where you married to, you are sending entourage. Are we doing political, uh, this and who is fighting with who? Nobody is having an issue with you. You don't need entourage. You don't need escort. You don't need entourage, you don't need a Scott to go and visit the place where you uh, married to. And then even if you don't want to go there physically to visit, what, what is your, your digital phone doing on your, what, what is your phone doing? Can your phone not make a call? Instead of lining up a lot of people who come and increase problem for you, saying they are coming to settle matters, why not you pick up your phone and make the call? It was time for Nigerian to be saved. We are in this nation. The former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, no other person than the humble His Excellency, Good Luck Jonathan, pick 
his phone and gave a call to the former president of uh, Nigeria, who is President Buhari, when the result of the elections were not yet completely announced. That is a man somebody should be able to take humility steps from. He picked up the phone, if it is other presidents, they will say for better for worse, this team must go down, except I win. Our beloved elder brother, an icon of humility, pick up his phone and made a call. That very character can be manifested by your brother, Ambassador Jehoshaphat, that you felt that um, he needed to talk with his the, the, the family members of where he married to. We gave him a wife. We didn't sell him somebody's brother. And the reason of the giving was because there is need for a relationship. So if you don't want the family members of this woman, they will be the one on your neck. Because if there's something that has to do with them, all of them will be looking at you. You'll be running a one-man battle. And that is why I felt that some of these things, I don't know,